Jeff Francis. And a female letter. Nia Alan, okay. If you want to come here, would you come in? Nia Godwin, okay. At your prime minister, make a part for us. I'm Nia Godfrey Riem. At your Ladit Magankan, did my car. Lamu. Thank you very much, the press team. Uh, we invited you here for the press release from Poran Chiefdom, uh, our whole community, and Karalamu in condemning the death of uh, Dr. Chwara Samuel, the district veterinary officer, a more district local government. It is with deep sense of sorrow and sadness that we have learned of the untimely and tragic death of Dr. Samuel Ochoara, the district veterinary officer of a more local government. His departure from our Mideast has robbed us of one of the most eminent representative of the generation of professionals who are actively involved in building our nation and in the efforts to achieve a better life for all. On behalf of K. Kwarpura and on my behalf, on behalf of Lord Jimmy Luwala, Lord of Pura, we extend our heartfelt condolence to the parents, Ladit, Ben, and Beatrice Awilo, Ukwamoi, and to the people of Lamu clan and the Pura chiefdom. Many in the leadership of Amuro local government who had the privilege of working closely with Dr. Chora will recall his caring love for all, his genuine hospitality, and his kind, encouraging words in all circumstances. We are indebted to him for the contributions he has made over the years and the significant leadership he has demonstrated in the course of his years of service. He was an accomplished professional as evidenced by the fact he had successfully completed his master's degree in animals husbandry and marketing at Gulu University and was due to graduate soon. We celebrate such sterling achievement posthumously. We are deeply troubled about lack of clarity to date, and by the absence in the public domain of the postmortem report, which would indicate which indicated the cause of death and the circumstances leading to this tragedy, this inevitably lead to endless speculation in the public domain. In light of these grave violations, we demand a full, transparent explanations from the government regarding the circumstances regarding these incidences. All who acted of commission or commission contributed to the loss of Dr. Chora must be held accountable for their actions and justice must be swiftly handled. We, the people of Puran Chiefdom and a whole community and a Choli sub-region in general demands the following. That the RDC, the DPC, and the Deputy DISO of Amuro District Local Government, who witness the very act leading to the loss of Dr. Chwara, should be arrested and give full account to the police in the form of recorded statements that the RDC, DPC, and Deputy Diso, a more district local government, explain why they picked Dr. Chwara Samuel to go and execute Executive Order Number 3 of 2023 of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, 
at night in a dangerous and insecure area controlled by the Balalu people who are heavily harmed and are in the land conflict with the indigenous population of the Acholi community. That the chief administrative officer be tasked to answer charges of releasing Dr. Ochara Samuel to go and execute executive order number three of 2023 of His Excellency the President of Uganda at night contrary to the Uganda Public Service Standing Order 2021, which clearly stipulate the working hours of a public officer. For our chiefdom, a whole community, and Lamu clan who advocate for peace, justice, and human dignity will continue to monitor the situation closely and lend our unwavering support to those affected by this erroneous act of violence. We urge all stakeholders to join us in condemning violence in all its forms and in working tirelessly to build a society where everyone can live free from fear and oppression. Ke Kwarupura is keen that all aspects of this tragic be taken into account, including the cultural aspects regarding the spilling of blood leading to the loss of life. The appropriate cultural rituals will be undertaken with, within the area cultural and traditional leaders of Ke Kwarupaga in Lakang area of Amur district. Simultaneously, action will be initiated to identify individuals and collective responsibilities following police reports and why they complete their investigations. This will and must lead to addressing together the government of Uganda the requirements of compensation to the family of Dr. Chara. The world is watching and history will judge us by our action. Let us stand together in defense of inherent worth and sanctity of every human life. Thank you very much.